We've come a long way, I know, in the five years I've been with them. Just in. Actually, one of my clients the other day, she's like, you know, other colorists used to use this little beater thing to mix the color. (laughs) Our um, social media presence has increased 532%. When am I going to get to go to the studio? Dude, I thought you were good. Well, you're not a sales manager, though, right? When do you want to come? I'm as good or better than a sales manager. I'm, You're the I'm, top. I'm the top dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, I think it's mixed enough, maybe. We don't even have sales And if you'll notice, just... I know, I was noticing that. Blow ammonia. And oh, go ahead and mix oh, yeah. a little bit so you can feel the consistency. Oh, that's nice. Good. Yeah, I love this. Now, this is our color prime. And color prime is going to do three important things for me. It's going to, uh, number one, it's going to equalize the porosity of all these ends. Now, if you'll notice, I'm quite liberal with the application. You don't have to worry about the hair being damp with it. So you're going to take it, you're going to spray it at the new growth, and you're going to bring it out through those mid-length and the ends. It also has chamomile and licorice roots. So... You know, it really is very comfortable, and the smell is amazing. What is the camera? Chamomile and licorice Chamomile and licorice root, so it's very kind to the scalp. Mm-hmm. And also, if there's any gels, mousses, hairspray, scalp oils, it's going to soften those. So you get a better absorption here, more even color on the ends, and you create a really nice environment with your customer. I mean, I mean, do you ever have, like, people that you put color on and you feel like it just jumps off the scalp? Yeah, they have a high aesthetic level. Okay. Because I'm always like... Yeah, and you have to go back and reapply. Yeah. yeah. You had that in one of the classes you did. Remember? Mm-hmm. I had to go back and push it in. Sure. Where's your foils at? Uh, I got a roll at the bottom here. I'm a rolling machine. Yeah. Look at you. <laughs> we could work together. <laughs> and everybody's like, oh. Yeah. Nice. I've had that for years. What is it? It's a, it's a foil roll, and I got it. Well, and I like the roll because you can get Good. like when we do your hair today. Exactly. I love the roll. Yes. <laughs> I've never seen it. Oh, really? I've had that thing forever. We recommend yeah. that you wear gloves when you're applying our product. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't ratting you out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I know you don't wear gloves. I'm like, um, they just, I don't know. To me, it just... I can't wear gloves. I can wear gloves to apply color, but to do Brazilian blowout, I can't. I'm like, I can't do it. It's just too... I can't leave them on that long. And you'll see I lose a little hair, because... Mm-hmm. But... I just not any way. problems, so. <laughs> This is my comb of choice when I'm just applying. One of their safety... Yeah, I know. But I just can't. I just can't. This it's is my so comb of so choice when I'm applying. You know, you know if, if, you, if you don't have gloves, a lot of the product will start to be on the hands rather than on the hair. So the gloves just allows it just to stay on the hair rather than in your hands. This is also my comb of choice when I'm doing a smudge root. What comb is that? Well, that told me a whole lot. (laughs) It's actually a teasing comb. And I like it because you can take it and you can pull it out out a little bit. So you're going to leave her ends more long? I'm actually going to be balancing the mid-length and the ends to the scalp level. Okay. Now let's apply. I'm going to start in the grayest area, which is the front. Mm -hmm. And as she does have so much new growth, I the first area that the brush touches the hair is closer to the ends, and then I come in. Interesting, you're just laying the color on. That's what you're supposed to do. Well, this is what I don't see a lot of. I know, and I've really tried to um, do that now because it's 
um, some colors won't, the gray won't cover. Don't get and people go. Well, because what we're used to, yeah. Right. But yeah, I've been tr trying not to do that. Oh yeah, I really, I'm aggressive when I put the color on. Yeah. Really, usually. Well, I know when I text you with that color gray coverage problem, which was totally um, mm -hmm. not the fault of the color. They were they were using Andiamo. Yeah. They were using Chroma instead they, of they, Andiamo. They thought they were using Andiamo. They took it off in like 20 minutes, which is way over the Andiamo timing. But, you know, they, they left it on longer because they didn't see that it was covering. And come to find out, uh, she didn't know that they had both colors in, in the inventory. So they, they picked up Chroma instead. But I remember you telling me that um, it was important that they don't overwork the color when they're applying it. Mm -hmm. Right. Why is that? Say that again? Why is that? Why is what? You can't overwork the product. Well, because a lot of the modern cream colors now with the ingredients, um, you, you don't have to work it in. And the ammonia is lower. It used to be the ammonia levels were so much higher in color. So no, kind of no, no matter how you put it on the hair, it worked. Mm -hmm. But you were saying if you overwork it, you could be actually moving it off the hair rather than... You could be pushing it off the head. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Is that like no hair on the sides? Got a ton of it in the back. <laughs> I know you guys got new um, products. You got that lift and deposit. You got ten minute color now, right? Yep. So we have um, so in our color brand, we have two different types of permanent color: chroma, which we're using now, mm -hmm. and then we have Andiano. So if you'll pick up your paper chart, and if you go down, if you head south from where Chroma is at, the information, you're going to see that we have Andiamo. Mm -hmm. Andiamo is what Agora Color 10 is. Um, Which is what's called. this a lot. I love Andiamo. It is an express permanent color. And what I dearly love about it is the fact that it um, it's a little less tricky. It has a different technology. So when you think about uh, Agora Color 10, it came out when? Like 10 years yeah. ago? Well, we've had 10 years to observe and watch and listen to what people's concerns were. Okay, so application complete. So that was 90 grams. So let's herald in on this. That was a lot of color, but also. Yeah, I was, gonna, I was, gonna, I was wondering if you were going to run out. I was like, geez. So if you come right here, you'll see the deposit's already happening. Okay, so development time is 30 to 45 minutes. So we're going to let her develop. And see, and that's just it with these long, like, it, you know, I would let them go 45 minutes because then I could do, you know, definitely another haircut or another. Color well, with her, she'll probably be closer to 45. By the time we do her demi and all that, but you know what? No big deal. She should be forty-five minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but for fine hair, just you know, if you'll look, development time is thirty to forty-five minutes. The higher the developer, the longer your time. So if you're doing high lift and you're working with forty volume, it could be forty-five to fifty mm -hmm. minutes. Uh, our lighteners, as a whole, is up to fifty-five minute development yeah. time, unless you're using like our quick lift and heat. Right. Then it's five levels in 15 minutes. Right. So that's really great if you got some dark patches you need to get rid of in color, color correction. Mm. So, um, 
Let's do something weird and set a timer. <laughs> I'm like, I know that's just like, like so weird. That's <laughs> like, my what a clock for. Right. Right. <laughs> and let's set it for 45. 45. Right. Now, will you let it set and then put no. the controls on? Or? I'm going to let it rock and roll a little bit. And then um, about 15, 20 minutes from the bring down, I'll formulate the tones for the mid-length and ends. I'll probably go in and hit it again with a little, little bit of the color prime just to dampen it. I'll go ahead and work the tones through the mid-length and the ends, and next to the scalp, I'll do a little bit of meshing. Um, and then we'll let that, at, at the end of 45 minutes, we'll emulsify Rand's color lock, blow it dry, and then we'll look at it and say, okay, what do we want to do? I write the formula down. Yes. So I can continue. So we did... We did uh, 40 grams of 9N, 20 grams of 8NT, and then 90 grams. But of course, now for your new growth, it's just not going to be as much. So you're just going to half all that. So let's talk about the other products that's on the color chart. And I'm going to give you this as well. And Melanie, this is what I said we could cover. Okay. If you want to go ahead and discuss some of the shades, that way when you're ready to order, you're going to be prepared. What's your, what are you going to call your studio suite? I think Sweet Fringe. Ooh, nice. I haven't um, got my LLC license yet, so okay. I could change it. All right, so let's cover some of these other products. Any questions on the chroma? So if they're 50% or over, a minimum of half your formula needs to be an N, 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 T, N, A, or five, or your N, A, N, T. When do you find, when do you find that you use the N, Ns? Coarse, 100% okay. um, gray, coarse, larger structures of hair strands is when I use the NN because the key thing to them is they do have a little extra ammonia and they have extra pigment. Okay. So. And then do you use 20 volume or do you use 10 still? I use 20. Okay. So next on our conversation, just fold this down. And I definitely want to hit on the ammo. So if you just hold it like this, Melanie. Okay. So let's talk about Andiamo. So with Andiamo, Andiamo is our permanent color. It is our express permanent color. Okay. So it's going to do everything. You know how that dries out right there at the part. Yeah. Makes me crazy. I know. Uh, okay, so with Andiamo, development time is 10 to 15 minutes. If the hair is coarse resistant, it's going to be closer to 15. And have you ever worked with an Express Color? No. Okay, so with Express Color, with any Express Color, you're going to do the application. Your application should be a minimum of 15 minutes. So whenever you use an express color, it's going to be a service where you know you can get it on quickly. Okay. Um, at, after that application is done, you're going to start your timing. And your timing is 10 to 15. Cool? It runs by the same rules as the rest of the brand. So when you look at the color selection, we have a total of 18 shades. If you look, we have the N's and we have the NT's. So those are going to be your world of gray coverage. Okay? If you're working with, say, a 5XR or a 4RM or a 5RM, if they're over 50% gray, then you're going to be in the world of adding your at least 50% of your N. If they're 25% gray, then you're going to add a quarter of your formula with your end. Mm -hmm. And keep it simple. 